Epigenetics is an old system and has been regulating our genes for millions of years. Healthy bodies need many types of functioning cells, like brain cells, skin cells, and white blood cells. But, did you know that different cells contain the same DNA? The difference between cells in your liver versus your brain is not the DNA per se, but that the different parts of the DNA are turned on or off. These different parts of DNA are called genes. Epigenetics controls when each of over 20,000 genes is turned on and off in every one of our 100 trillion cells. When the gene is not needed, the regulator turns it off, keeping the gene from making its product. Epigenetics directs how we grow in the womb and through life. If this system is altered, genes can be turned on or off in the wrong cells or at the wrong time. Recently, humans have created thousands of new chemicals. Scientists know that some of these chemicals can change our epigenetics, altering how our genes are regulated. Some of these chemicals are in air pollution from cars and trucks, some in pesticide formulations, and one chemical called BPA is in canned foods, linings, and in some plastic bottles and some store receipts. So how do these chemicals affect epigenetics? When pesticides are sprayed on fruits and vegetable crops to kill pests, their residues may remain for us to ingest. Farm workers, their families, or people living close to farms can be exposed to pesticides by ingesting and inhaling these chemicals. People who use pesticides on their lawns and gardens can also get exposed by touching them and inhaling these chemicals. When pesticides travel through our bodies, some can alter the epigenetic system. The same is true for ingestion of excessive amounts of BPA or inhalation of certain air pollutants. The chemicals can remove gene regulators, allowing genes that are off to turn on. This can lead to too many genes being on at the same time, or the wrong genes being on at the wrong time. The more the system is affected, the greater our chance for illness. Chemicals in the environment can upset gene regulation in both adults and children. Support healthy bodies by helping to reduce air pollution. Find out about legislation on environmental pollution and chemical policy to be an informed voter. And avoid BPA and foods with high pesticide residues, particularly if you're pregnant. A clean environment supports health for this generation and the next.